Hey everybody, welcome back to Smart Robots Review, the show that I use robotics, fantastic tech, and science from around the world and out of this world. And today I have Sandy and Caitlin with me today. Of course, you've seen both of them <laughs> on Smart Robots Review. So what'd you do this weekend? Uh, I went to the Milwaukee Makers Fair. So did I. <laughs> Caitlin wanted to be there, but she couldn't. But lucky for you guys, we have a lot of great footage. We met a lot of great makers. We saw fantastic robots. So much material to share. Not enough time. Uh, but today we're going to start off with Kevin. Kevin is a Jedi Knight and maker of R2-D2s. And with that, stay with us. Welcome to Smart Robots Review. Hey everybody, this is uh, Elias again from Smart Robots Review. We are at the Maker Fair, seeing another really amazing, really cool R2-D2. And I'm here with its creator, Kevin Zirkelbach. Kevin, awesome. So tell me, what are we doing here? Uh, tell me about your creation. Sure. Uh, I discovered the R2 Builders Club about eight years ago and online. Uh, and I kind of looked around for a couple of years and then I decided to, you know, take the plunge and uh, use the club plans that are available online to build my own R2-D2. And uh, the first one I made was actually out of cardboard, just to kind of like give it a trial run and see if this is something I wanted to do. And then using the plans, I built one out of styrene. I've had a lot of uh, experience, you know, as a kid building plastic model kits and I'm a graphic designer, so oh, sure. I build, you know, models and displays at work. Yeah. And I thought that was like right in my wheelhouse. And it's nice because it just builds up a little bit at a time. You know, uh, you cut out the pieces, uh, you glue them together, and it comes, you know, builds up like a big layer cake. Tell me about your R2. Uh, he seems uh, battle-worn. He has right. a certain theme about him, so tell me about it. Uh, he was nice and clean at one point, but last year I had one of the other makers uh, weather him at, at, uh, at the Maker Fair. Because I was looking for like a uh, right out of the sand crawler, kind of like, you know, a dirty sandy R2. Plus, he's about five or six years old, so he was getting some damage from events. And I, and I thought I'd work with the damage and, uh, you know, make it look like uh, battle scars and, and oil and things like that. What about the technology behind him? What drives this R2? Okay, that's the amazing part is that the technology is really simple. I have uh, Razor scooter motors for his feet. And it's just running on a 12 volt battery that I uh, got out of uh, a broken um, electric lawnmower. And then there's some smaller motor that uh, moves his dome. And so there's really just three motors, uh, two for the feet, one for the dome. So you could have fooled me. I'm sorry? You could have fooled me. Uh, so I'm, I'm hearing that a lot. That seems to be the theme. They're very uh, simple under the covers. Um, so what's unique about this one? Is he identical to all the other R2s here, or is there something special about him, something different? I just wanted to have something that um, was uh, inexpensive to build because the, you can build things out of wood and aluminum, and I wanted to show people that it was if you could cut and glue, you could build an R2. Right. So, uh, and you didn't have to spend ten thousand dollars to uh, to to build an R2. So, uh, the electronics are fairly simple. Um, some of the some of the lighting kits I bought like as an upgrade because originally um, I actually have uh, well, I actually have my original dome. So this is the first dome. The first dome. Okay. Was uh, just scratch built. I got a, a hemisphere from a prop uh, place in Chicago. I uh, I built the frame out of styrene. Oh, okay. Uh, all the lights are very simple. They're like Harbor Freight flashlights. You say it's simple, but they look amazing. It looks just like in the movie. And then some uh, blinky lights from like Home Depot. Home Depot? Yeah. <laughs> so, and then when the, there was a laser cut styrene that became available through the club. And so I said, honey, uh, 
uh, I think I know what I want for Christmas. And so then I upgrade it. And then, you know, so it just has a little more detail. Yeah. And, uh, and then the, the light kits were ones that I purchased instead of uh, the ones that I were homemade. Okay. But then. Um, and then in here, what do you have? It's, a, it's very power supply. Very yeah, so we have uh, the, the battery, 12 volt battery, the fuse box, uh, main power, and then we have a motor controller, uh, a saber tooth motor controller for the feet, and then uh, a smaller motor controller just for the dome. And then we got the receiver, uh, we got the 12 volt motor for the dome. The, uh, yeah, I was gonna ask you. A lot of the parts I either scratch built or I 3D printed because uh, a lot of the parts weren't available. Oh, he is beautiful. He really is beautiful. So, what does it take to transport something like this? Well, I, is it heavy? No, he's a. Uh, the heaviest part is a battery. He probably weighs total maybe about 50 pounds. Oh, 50 pounds. Yeah, five zero. Who's your daddy and what does he do? <laughs> he does what I want.